Well, we have a terrific panel to look at that fascinating debate tonight. We have the Congress's Chief Spokesperson, Dr. Abhishek Singhvi, uh, the uh, Chief Spokesperson of the BJP, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, also joining us tonight from the JDU, a party, another party that has criticized the Election Commission's move with Mr. K.C. Tyagi. The former Chief Election Commissioner, Mr. N. Gopal Swami, joins us from Chennai. And here in the studio, we have author and columnist Ajoy Bose. Uh, let me ask uh, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad first. Uh, Mr. Prasad, what do you think uh, of the Chief Election Commissioner's uh, defense uh, of this particular move? Do you think that this is a practical move to cover up the statues this way? Well, Nidhi, a young school student of Delhi came with a brilliant suggestion. And let me say that by taking his name also, his name is Yatin. If it is a statue of a dead person or a leader, it is a memorial. And if it is a statue of a living person, leader, or a chief minister who is contesting election himself or herself, it becomes a political advertisement. That is the distinction. I think Mayavati was what I mean, satisfied by having one statue instead of having 11 statues in the entire state. I don't recall in a democratic country any living political leader has erected his or her own statue. Maybe in some despotic regimes it may be. But the issue is a public place, a statue being erected through public money, and then a political statement being made. Nidhi, I have just returned to Delhi. I was in Lucknow for two to three days. I'll be going there frequently in the course of my political activity. Go and see around that area. It is not a statute simpliciter. It is a political statement being made of great political advertisement in a public place, series of statutes and also the election symbol. It makes a political statement of its own. Therefore, if we have this model code of conduct, and as Mr. Kurashi rightly pointed out, even Bajpayee's uh, portrait on various national highways were removed. And we had no problem with that, all right? Let them be level playing field. Therefore, I think our democracy has become mature enough to understand that these kind of uh, issues during elections must not be countenanced and there must be a level playing field. But, but Having said that, I mean only remind... Sure, sure, go yes, ahead. Yes, yes. Go ahead. I would only say that while the Election Commission has done a great job, some of the model code of conduct has to be revisited, Nidhi. Election also means colour. Election also means noise. So, so what in the model code do you I think remember... needs to be... What, what should be revisited? For instance, let me tell you two instances. I was told that if my house at Patna, a BJP flag was to be hoisted, one officer said, Mr. Prashad must have a permission. It is utter nonsense. It is my fundamental right to hoist my party's flag on my house, which is a private property. When I was in charge of Uttarakhand, I remember a BJP's, uh, this hole has to be hung up between two poles around a um, uh, hilly, hilly area. They said, take permission from the collector then the forest permission, then some of the forests are central forest. Okay, go to so, the you're, you're of saying, India. so you admit that there are... <laughs> and they said, sir, leave it. Make it more convenient. So, so you admit there are some impracticalities to this. Dr. Abhishek Singhvi, are we yes, going to find yeah. the BJP and the Congress on the same side when it comes to this particular issue in UP? And you know, if we are a mature democracy, as Ravi Shankar Prasad says, <laughs> do you really believe voters are going to be influenced by these statues who've been there uh, you know, anyway? Is it, a, is it a waste of money and effort to be now going around covering them up? Uh, Nidhi, there are a number of points and I have to step back uh, to make those. Let's step back from the immediate heat of the issue. Uh, first of all, I think the model code of conduct is a truly a miracle of India because it's something which has got no statutory force. It is not in the constitution. It, in a sense, in legal terms, is nothing but an executive order. And yet, the true maturity and the true depth of Indian democracy is shown by the fact that the entire country, in the right spirit, obeys it. In fact, I am reminded that about 20 years ago, a petition was filed challenging it. And thereafter, by consent, political parties withdrew the challenge and said that it is important to let the election commission control this field by the executive order, which otherwise would normally in this country be challenged 20 times over. So I think we should keep that sacrosanct, sacred nature of the model code of conduct because today it is you, tomorrow it is me, the after tomorrow it is Ravi Shankar Prashad's party. Ultimately, this is something which is the hallmark of Indian democracy. 
the object which is to maintain an even level playing field. Number two, what are we discussing here? I mean, I was surprised to find these kind of defenses and allegations that if this is so, you must stop all memorials, all statues, all symbols. We have to have a uh, sense of proportion. We can't generalize so as to justify or excuse what the BSP is doing in UP. You can't show what your, we have here is a very narrow, we have a very particular case. I'm we sorry, have a very I, particular case. I, I was just, no, minute. I was just reminded, no, I was reminded because you talked about symbols and you know, you're waving your hand. I, I mean, know, I mean I know, but by I that know. logic, your I, hand should be covered with a glove no, right Nidhi, now. You know, where do you Nidhi, stop? Nidhi, that is, that is reducing it Nidhi, to the facetious one, and the farcical. <laughs> that's the point. Uh, the precise point I'm making is, that is reducing it to the facetious and the farcical. Because, the BSP is not waving an inalienable part of its body. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com/apps.